Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will take you through Valletta capital of Malta. Valletta is the teeny tiny capital of Malta, a Mediterranean island republic. The Knights of St. John, a Roman Catholic order, founded the walled city on a peninsula in the 1500. Museums, palaces, and stately churches are among the city's attractions. St. John's Co Cathedral is a Baroque monument that houses the Caravaggio masterpiece, the beheading of St. John, in its magnificent interior. Malta's capital is intrinsically related to the military and philanthropic order of St. John of Jerusalem's history. It was ruled successively by the Phoenicians, Greeks, Carthaginians, Romans, Byzantines, Arabs and the Order of the Knights of St. John. Valletta has 320 monuments on a 55-hectare site, making it one of the world's most densely packed historic sites. Valletta, often called Valletta, is a seaport and the capital of Malta, located on the island's northeast coast. The city's core is built on Mount Severus Peninsula, which runs like a tongue down the center of a bay, dividing it into two harbors, Grand Harbor to the east and Massonset Harbor to the west. A UNESCO World Heritage Site is essentially an open-air museum. It is a live example of Baroque architecture, a monument donated about five centuries ago by the Knights of St. John. Valletta has hosted emperors, leaders of state, artists, and poets over the years and is now the permanent home of the Maltese government. A UNESCO World Heritage Site is essentially an open-air museum. It is a live example of Baroque architecture, a monument donated about five centuries ago by the Knights of St. John. Valletta has hosted emperors, leaders of state, artists, and poets over the years and is now the permanent home of the Maltese government. The city's distinctive environment currently hosts a variety of cultural events, ranging from English-language theatre to concerts by prominent opera singers. The city, which is a swarm of business activity during the day, shifts to a lower gear at night. Use it to your advantage to get away from the noise and take a stroll to admire the magic of the fortified capital amplified by the gentle lighting. The Bastion Walls Thick clusters of weathered limestone buildings, timber balconies, and majestic churches are all worth seeing. One of the advantages of Valletta is that many of Malta's other attractions are within easy reach. You may spend the morning sightseeing in the city and the afternoon leaping off cliffs into the clear waters. Between Valletta and the historic three cities and fashionable Slima, boatmen chug little boats over the sea. Valletta is known for its churches, which include the Church of Our Lady of Victory, which houses the city's foundation stone, St. Paul's Shipwreck Church, and a magnificent octagonal church dedicated to St. Catherine of Italy. Valletta is a commercial and administrative center rather than an industrial city. The aesthetic and historical riches of the city are a major tourist draw. Malta is, in general, a relatively safe place to visit. It is one of the safest countries in the EU to visit, but it is not without its risks. Because petty theft is the most common sort of crime, use common sense and keep your valuables close to hand. Hope you like the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe keep watching.